the young Bradenton woman who was burned after her mother's boyfriend allegedly doused him in gasoline and threatened their lives is now speaking out. SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham joining us now in the studio after speaking with the victim who says she's really just happy to be alive. Thanks, Mike. That is right. And Tierra Fields has been through a lot of emotion the last few days. She now has burns on her face after being held over a fire pit allegedly by her mother's boyfriend. And now she has a message for everyone to hear. It was a night that changed Tierra Fields' life, and it all started over missing money. An argument that escalated quickly between her mother and her mother's 25-year-old boyfriend. He hit her, and she wanted me to call 911, and when I went to go do it, he, um, you know, took my phone, and um, I went to use the neighbor's phone. He chased me out the door, and we were um, tussling and stuff, and he threw me in the pit of fire and kind of held me there for a while. What was that like? Uh, it was painful. I was burning. I felt the burns, and I was just trying to get up. Minutes later, she was able to get up and go to a neighbor's house where she called the police and eventually got help for her and her mother. The student and writer tells me she's fortunate to be here. I'm just glad I'm okay. I'm alive. Um, I know he dished gasoline on me, so I could have caught on fire, but I'm just glad I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Field says she's working on a novel about a young girl who overcomes obstacles in her life, like teen pregnancy. And now she's determined to finish her novel and spread her message of perseverance. Well, I just uh, want to let all the women know out there, I mean, even men, if you have someone, you know, abusive in your life or, you know, um, who hurts you, I mean, take it seriously because you could, you know, probably end up dead one day. You never know um, how violent it could get, but, you know, just want to let people know that. Mike, you saw she has several bandages from a second degree burns and even stitches, but she is expected to make a full recovery. And then there's a physical recovery as well as an emotional one. That sometimes takes a lot that longer. That might take a while longer. Thanks, mm -hmm. Amber.